Okay, when you need a laptop bag, Peak Design, super burly straps, one of my favorite bags that is not too big, but also not too small, and you just want it to work well in all those little interactions, those everyday zipper pulls and handle pulls and putting on and taking off, sitting down, falling over, standing up. This is the second video in a three video series on my favorite daily carry bags. The first one was about more compact daily carry bags. This one's the medium size. This is my, this is my daily driver. I use this size on the regular and I have a lot of bags to show you. So just, I've got the time codes, links to everything below. Use my links, cause it does support my work here at no cost to you. And sometimes there's a discount applied when you use my links. So thank you for that. Let's get into it. Okay, this first group of bags is kind of like the, uh, these are simple. These are simple. They're a medium size. What does that mean? My previous video was on like compact bags. What does that mean? I don't know. It's something that I just sense as I'm carrying. You can tell how tight something is once you're using it. And these are all bags that I've used. This is Evergoods, the Civic Half Zip 22 liter. It's like, it's got capacity. You do need to know it picks up some dust and lint. People complain about that. It is so abrasion resistant. It is so like, Burly, I love the feel of it. These water bottle pockets are my pretty much my favorite in the in the industry That's a thing I just said these backpack straps are super comfortable unless you're riding a bike it contours to your back I don't know if you can see this little panel right here. It carries surprisingly comfortable and it's Simple you've got a pocket up here this Exterior quick access pocket is one of my favorite. So my favorite water bottle, pretty much my favorite quick access too. The size, the width, the like how the zipper pulls. Then just a super simple laptop sleeve that's like, it's slightly pulled off the bottom of the bag, but just barely. The back has a nice uh, like panel in it that keeps it stiff. Listen, there's every bag that I'm getting into after this, first group is like techie, pockets, all sorts of crazy shit. You're gonna love them. You're gonna love them all. I have, there's few bags that I have liked carrying more than this bag. Links to this below. Troubadour makes fancy bags. Do you wear a suit? Do you wear a tie? Do you need something that like, uh, that churches up your look a little bit? Like look at these nice little straps. Like it's just like a little bit grown up. Like daddy's going to work today, honey. Fashion feeling zipper, you know what I mean by that? Like the metal, the way that it moves is actually really smooth. Metal, kind of fashion feeling inner liners, a little bit silky. Very simple stuff back here. Decent capacity, a very like, I don't know, like or crunchy, organic. S like, it's like s smooth and rough. Laptop compartment here on the top back that is slightly pulled off the bottom of the bag. Nice leather handle. These guys, Troubadour, their, their bags are like more on the pricey side, but they're making really good stuff. And this one of all of theirs that I've tested and tried, this one was actually my favorite because I love this just simple little pocket right here. I love bags like this. Speaking of which, this simple bag, I like anytime there's a pocket where there's dimension built in. This is like your old school, school backpack thing. There's a little bit of admin stuff in here, but the material itself is super uh, like rigid almost, so I can zip it one-handed easily. It's structured, it has a lot of structure. Back panel is fine, not my favorite straps, nice meshy stuff. Kind of more of a, more of a burly feeling to this thing two water bottle pockets. One of them has elastic gussets and a zipper. Bullet, ruck style thing. You got your laptop here, a little compartment. Totally solid and water and weather resistance. I liked using this bag a lot, so I've included it. Three very different bags, but all in the same category of sort of a simple, medium, everyday carry bag that's like worth your time investment, worth your like relationship. This is Waterfield's Bolt Backpack. Famously, they don't pay for any marketing, so they don't have a, an affiliate program. They have never gotten any 
food on my table from these guys. I still love their shit, especially, more than anything else, this bag here, the Bolt, okay? It's got a zipper here on the front, very simple. It's got these like magnetic bits right here, which it, it just more is aesthetic. Maybe I'll put something in here. I, I never have put something in there. The feel of this waxed canvas, this leather, it's all hand shucked and handmade in San Francisco. The unusability of these water bottle pockets, unless you have a small water bottle. I don't love this back panel and none of that has gotten in the way of this bag because basically the, the feel of the materials, the size and the shape of it, the handle, this leather on the handle, and but just these materials, this liner, this golden luscious liner. Zipper in the back here for access into that same main compartment right at the laptop. Surprisingly decent solid space in here. I was a little bit like, should I include this in the compact or the medium? But because of how it carries, it goes in the medium. It sometimes can feel a little tight. That's why it was a question for me. But the truth is you can fit a bunch in this and it is just luscious. It's luscious. Then, the Dispatch Day Pack. I, I don't know why I love this bag so much. I love the shape and the size. I really love the back panel. I really love these straps. There's a stiffness to them. And then this mesh on the back, a simple vertical pocket, which I tend not to like these sorts of things because they're, they get, it can be hard to do one handed. And then everything's oriented sideways here. You kind of want to put the bag sideways, but inside of here, you do have some elastic admin stuff, a little pocket over here with some mesh and it's actually quite spacious. It has one mesh pocket here. I just, I love using this pocket. Kind of like a twill feeling fabric. I hope it's still available on their site because I think this is really nice. I know they have some stuff in X-Pack and then finally you have a laptop compartment. Then just this handle. This might be one of the main reasons why I love this bag. So simple, but it just feels like I would prefer to hold it like this half the time then put it on the shoulder. Now, the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack. I don't know if you know about this bag, but I, I think it's just like a really iconic bag. I think it's really fearfully and wonderfully made. I love this little like Cordura, the Brown Buffalo, kind of a weird name for a bag company, right? Made in uh, Southern California by Douglas and the team. This pocket is, this is just nothing in here except for a vertical pocket. It's basically, business papers, man. You wanna have like a thin, long tech pouch that goes in there. You know about tech pouches, right? Like this is the Peak Design tech pouch. You put everything in there and then you open up your bag and this just sits down at the bottom and when you get to where you're going, you just pull this out, it sits on the table, you have everything you need, you pack it up, you put it away, right? Tech pouches, I'm, I'm about them. I'm about them. It can just be a simple pouch, it can be really organized. I'll link below to my page where I have a lot of opinions about tech pouches, but a long sort of thin one in here would be ideal. Notice this burly, huge, like aqua seal YKK zipper. I, this is one of the reasons why I love this bag. Another reason is the shape. Watch this. Oh, what? It just goes all the way around. Another reason is these contoured straps, luggage pass through, they're just smaller. They, they, they feel like they don't have to be super burly and I, and I love that they're smaller, but that like, oh, I love that. What I'm not crazy about is this material is so thick and burly. It's like too much. It's, it makes it a heavy bag in some ways but it also gives it all this structure. I, I love this mesh actually. This is just some simple mesh. Another plastic YKK toothy ass zipper right here. There's something that I dislike about this burliness. This is your laptop compartment, but there's also something I like about it. Now this also has been like in storage. So spreading it out and getting this open to see like, you know, to help you see a little bit of the shape I've used this a lot in my life as a daily carry and it is, a, I love it. It's that like Mario bullet look. Links to this below. Now, final thing here. 
This just came in the mail recently. z Packs sent this out. They make ultra lightweight, ultra lightweight stuff. So this is in the simple compartment because it is super simple. This thing actually doesn't have weight. Big, gushy, easy to get your water bottle in water bottle compartments on both sides. Simple water sealed zip with really thin light paracord. This is this whole panel. And then you have a quick access pocket here, which is, it's, a, it's like flat on the bag. This is a sailcloth Dyneema waterproof material. It is extremely lightweight and extremely heavy duty. Look at these straps. These are great. These feel so cushy. But I haven't put it through all its paces. I just have used some Z-Pack stuff before. This completes the simple, the simple stuff. Let's move on to more of the techie bags. Now, this next pack is probably one of my favorite in this entire series of videos. I may say that a few times here. This is a Bellroy Venture Collection day pack, all right? It's got this amazing latch that you're gonna see in another bag here in this video. This, originally on their shift pack, it just works so easy and so well, it's super satisfying. It gets you a little bit extra of expansion on the roll top. You can certainly compress it a bit more, but not a bunch. Then you have two zippers that go down here. I normally don't zip these. I get plenty of access just kind of from the top. You do have some space, beautiful, meshy, sexy pockets here. Laptop, tablet, a couple meshies. Right here, again, most of the time for me, I'll have these down a little bit. I'll keep them down like that, so that when I open up this bag, it's just, I've got all that. One of my favorite things is these two side pockets. You have one on either side. They're pretty roomy. One of them has a keychain. Here is my 32 ounce water bottle. I will link to below. It's my favorite of all time right now. It normally comes with a straw inside. I've removed the straw. I don't like plastic. This is double insulated stainless steel, and it's 32 ounces, and it fits in a cup holder upside down and has a nice secure lock. And look at this, 32 ounces goes straight in, gobbles it up, okay? Not to be trifled with, very good bag. Look familiar? Same thing, right? Except this is leather, ooh. And this material's like sort of burly upgraded, like, ooh, a little, like what's going on here? This is the Bellroy Apex, all right? It's all their best materials. It's all their like, it's a really fascinating sort of product from a design, this big pieces of leather here, these water sealed zips that are like laser etched in. This though, I would actually prefer in daily life to use that other one, that Venture. This does do the same thing where we open that up. You've got magnets right here that like, are pretty powerful rectangular magnets. Inside of here, you've got a quick little number and then a zip little number. Laptop, which has some nice protection. And then this guy's more of that stretchy, meshy, beautiful. Big gushy up here, big gushy over here. Some solid capacity. This is definitely a little bit larger than the Venture. I love these little zip poles. I just, it's, it's, I'm including it because you should, you should know about, you should know about this bag. You need to know about Bellroy. These side pockets are why I would prefer the Venture to this one personally for me because I always have a water bottle with me. These are just, uh, they're not like the big water bottle pockets. They have a smaller opening. They're definitely sleeker. Uh, they're actually more visible than the other ones. The other ones are like more hidden for like secret pocket. But this whole back thing, this sternum strap, they started doing this on some of their simpler bags too. It's just, it's a work of art. It's a modern marvel. It's also quite expensive. Three more in this sort of techie area. There's gonna be more techie after this, but they're like larger, beefier, bulkier. This one is from Moment. I covered the orange, smaller version of this in the first video. So this is like a simple daily bag that ends up having like more pockets than you thought it would and surprisingly good organization in this really sleek water bottle pocket that like 
like, I don't know, just like swooshes down with some gusseting here. Water sealed zip on the laptop compartment back here with, I showed you this material that is just so juicy. I love this. And then in your main compartment, it's just big. It's just big enough. You just got space with one meshy pocket up here. This really should be in the simple, more in the simple thing, but so I made a mistake. Boundary Supply Errant, the original Errant. Now, here's my thing about this bag. First of all, like, look at this back panel. This is what, it, like, I, I could barely contain myself with this. It's just, see those ruffles have ridges, like, these straps, you see this, like, little simple, like, regular school day looking pack, like, but it feels so much nicer than that. You've got a little secret pocket right there. You've got some weird clippies and things. For the, this handle feels great. Looks awesome. The bag itself looks awesome. I would argue that if you go for this bag, you need to know that you never want to open this top except for very occasionally. Why? Because you have these like weird sort of nipple clip things with a pocket hidden behind there, like a fairly useful pocket that you'd have to like do a bunch of shit to get to. Then you got a zipper, which gets you like some visible access. They have a camera cube, maybe they still sell it, they used to, that sits right at the top here, which was awesome. Your camera would be right there. But in order to get to it, you gotta like nipple clip, zip a lip, and just like give a shit. You gotta give a shit. I don't give a shit. I wanna get into it. Makes sense, doesn't it? Dope water bottle pocket. Pocket down at the bottom that has like a separate shoe compartment. Side pocket here that is just like a, some simple quick access. So if I'm not accessing the bag through the top, this whole thing is accessible from the back. This pocket you need to know about because it's super useful. Super functional, big taco pocket right here. It has dimension built into it. Really masterfully done, okay? On this side, you've got your laptop, tablet, there's magnets and a clip that I really dislike but I got used to. You've got these little gussety businesses here. How you use this without using the top at all is A, if you need to get into the capacity of the bag, you're just doing that right here on the side. B, if you need to get your laptop, you're just opening up to there and you're getting your laptop out. I've got my laptop and tablet and whatever. I've got my taco pocket, which typically will have my charger and uh, external hard drive, anything that I need on the go. And then I can reach down and grab my tech pocket. My tech pouch. It's so nice to put on. It's such a rad bag. You're gonna see another one from them here in a minute. This is the nomadic day pack that they came out with in the last year or two. Sort of a shell, a turtle shell vibe. A little more of a jet pack vibe, but it's rounded. That's, that's kind of awesome. You've got a side pocket down here. The whole sort of front flat panel here. These zippers move quite well with like a kind of a wire thing. Here is a zipper that goes from here to here and it, it's your water bottle pocket. Let's see, 32 ounce water bottle. Does not make it. Check this though, what's this zipper doing? Why is it, what, why is it going all the way around, what? I don't know if I would have included this bag if it didn't do this. I just think that this is like a, this is just a really masterful way of making this bag be small, I mean, what we're doing is we're adding capacity to our main compartment, making this like quite a larger bag actually, like surprisingly spacious, but it's still just this little turtle shell. Nomadic style with a lot of little dongle pockets. Here's that water bottle, internal water bottle. They have a rain fly, some pockets up here. What I would love on this would be some dimension in this pocket. Then you've got laptop pocket here on the back. It's nice little bit of rigidness in this back panel. Taking a note from Tom Bin's edgeless strap, maybe not, but it looks and feels very similar. I really don't know, but I like this. It feels great. Dope bag, linking to this below, as I am with everything else. Okay, how you doing? This is, uh, it's break time, and this break is sponsored by Tahoe Trail Bars. Okay. This is the mango coconut bar. You know there's like lots of bars out there that they might have like a really small number of ingredients and they're really healthy or they're, or they're like really bready and doughy or they're really like pasty. It's clearly just like a 
paste kind of thing. That sweetness of the mango is like barely there, but it's so bright and juicy. And then you get these like oats and rice crunchy bits. It's actually yummy bar that actually feels like food. This is the kind of thing I, I like to have in my bag. Meat sticks and one of these. And I can survive any day, even if I don't get any other food besides that, knowing that like, at least I'll have a moment in my day where there's some pleasure. Like this is su like surprisingly pleasurable. Shout out to Tall Trail Bars, link below. Let's get into the next. I have two, set, two more chunks. Like this one from Mystery Ranch, a semi-simple bag in that it's like, all right, just a sack. You've got two huge, beautiful water bottle pockets on either side here. You've got an insanely nice back panel for literally rucking around in the woods, like carrying heavy loads. You've got water sealed zips here for your tech compartment, which has a pretty damn solid laptop sleeve pulled up off the bottom of the bag. The way that it's designed, your laptop slides in and out really, really nice. This is a basically a tech compartment on the back, a laptop compartment put into a badass outdoorsman bag or outdoors women bag. On the top, you've got a quick access pocket that's the whole top of the bag, the brain of the bag. Nice zipper pulls, nice little zipper uh, anchors over here or pull anchors. Then you have this front of the bag three-way, which you don't have to open it like that, right? Once I'm open like this, I can get in to everything that I need. And then as you'll see on the sides, there's a bunch of nice pocketing in here. Some meshies and some zippies here, and then some admin panel stuff right here. So everything that I need, I can actually connect to the one of these pouches put it at the top of the bag, and I've just got something like a lunchbox or a sweater. Links to this one below. Now, one of my favorite bags of all time ever. And this is in this like olive color. I've never used this. I, uh, I, uh, I, know, I just like this bag. This is the Evergood Civic Panel Loader. It's got their signature back panel. You see this, how it contours up around your back. It ends up spreading the load of whatever's in the bag across so much of your shoulder that you're just locked in. Little ribbon zip poles on a vertical pocket. All of these, this is a you know reverse coil sewing on a YKK number 10. Inside of here, it's just one big, one big panel. Yeah. The material. Oh. This lighter color, olive, you're not gonna see the dust and pet hair and lint quite as easily as you do on the on the all black. Opening this up here, did I show you the handles? Mm, why do I love this bag so much? Laptop pocket here on the back. Oh, really rigid. Oh, so stiff. This liner on the inside just feels so professional. So burly. You've got one pocket that's going vertical here with the bag across here and one going sideways because it's actually really nice to grab this bag from the side where your laptop is, where you can get into the main compartment and where you can open up this side pocket with this burly mesh. Like, ooh, full clamshell opening. Wow, look at this. Ooh, throw some stuff in here that you don't want to bounce around maybe. You know, look at this little patch. Like, why does it look so good? All right, I gotta, I gotta take a break from this one. All right, I've got a number of bags from Air. These are all Air bags. Probably my favorite in here is one of, one of these two. So let's start with this. It's their tech pack. Several zippers here, multiple compartments. Eddie Murphy raw, you know, sleek. Sexy, like I could wipe this all off. This is kind of a little dirty. A little water to wipe clean. This isn't leather, it's it's like a, a durable coated ballistic nylon. Chunky Predator Dreadlock zippers. Quite spacious. Can you see the size of this thing here? Pretty damn big. Laptop compartment on the back. Quick access compartment. Front tech panel, very signature for air, which I actually really dig. 
All sorts of important tech stuff just right here on the front of the bag. Back panel, solid, simple. I want more from them on these straps. Comfortable, like these things are comfortable, right? Like check out this one. This one's a little bit different, a little bit updated. This is their collaboration with uh, Ministry of Supply, Luna Pack. And you'll see a lot of similarities to that Evergood Civic Panel Loader. One side pocket, quick access pocket. On all their quick access pockets, they're using this like, sort of, I don't know, it almost feels like the loop part of hook and loop Velcro almost. You've got a water sealed zip on the back panel for your laptop compartment. Then, YKK number 10, reverse coiled zip to your main compartment where you've got a couple pockets here and some decent capacity. See the size there? It's like five, six inches. Underwear, here's your quick access pocket. And here is, quite masterfully, this uh, internal water bottle pocket. Let's see, 32 ounce water bottle. Damn, gobbles it up! This material feels really good. Definitely feels like it's gonna pick up a lot of dust and lint, um, pet hair and stuff like that. But I like this one. Big, chunky handle. I want, uh, I want a little more, I want a little, I want a little sleeker handle somehow, but it feels nice. Then there's City Pack Pro, which I just reviewed. I just did a whole review on this. This thing is really solid. Side access pit, like pocket, like just a little quick access pocket. Surprisingly good. Same laptop compartment, same back panel basically. Nice meshy lap or luggage pass through here. Nice and breathable. On this side, you got a water bottle compartment with a little gusset there. You've got your front tech pocket. This is, you know, this this is their, this is their Luna pack. I would probably go with this over that Luna. It, I just have used this quite a lot recently and I've liked it a lot. It just feels good. You also have this front pocket down here. Air packs really do work very well on the regular, like every single day. So every zipper pull, every handle, every putting it on, every getting your laptop in and out, they feel really well stress tested for usability. And part of that is the structure that's built into these thick 1680D ballistic nylon. They're beautiful. Uh, I, let, I really dig their liner on the inside. Some simple organization without being too fussy. The Wandered Duo, really love this bag. Really like sleek and, and a little jetpack when you're on, but soft enough and poppable camera bag thing, right? So I can push this against the bottom, but if you have like drone or camera or anything that needs to be sort of somewhat protected, you've got this built in. You also have these like, kind of I think designed for lenses, but they work really well. These pockets stretch and move a bunch. Great laptop compartment, easy to get things in and out of with little tablet guy. Little bit of organization sort of around here. I just like the tightness of this. The zippers do come all the way around like that, but I don't like to, uh, I don't like to move any further than just up here for the most part. If I have a camera in there, I will pull on one side all the way down and this can flap open. Sort of crappy big front pocket right here like we've seen in lots of bags. Everything just kind of gets moofy and lost in there but it's nice to kind of keep stuff segmented. And then a pretty solid quick access that's surprisingly roomy. Linking to this one below. Similar in that camera also vein. This is Peak Design. They have two versions of this. One has this gorgeous latch, this like metallic magnet latch that works surprisingly well as a roll top. It doesn't get a lot of expansion. It does get a little bit of compression. I prefer these zippers probably. However, the latch on the latch one, which if you click the link below, you'll be able to see the latch one as well, is actually really good. Like it's a little bit of a, like I, which one, is it this one or that one? I just tend to prefer zippers. Inside, you've got a bunch of Velcro-y stuff. You've got like things like this that you can put shelves and segment stuff in the bag how you want. This, I'll show you this. This is in the laptop compartment in the back. Taco pocket. You've got a few pockets in here, one with magnets. How do they work? And then zipper, the same thing 
on this other side, and then one little uh, zippy sort of keeps stuff up at the top, but out of the way. Really nice material, really weather and water resistant, an incredible back panel where you've got like these articulating straps, luggage pass through, little accessory hooks all over the place for hooking in little straps that you can latch down a tripod or, you know, a sweater or something. Then this back zipper is your laptop. It can be quite tight to get your laptop out of here, especially when you use this beautiful taco pocket right here. Can you see this thing? It's got this gorgeous stretch meshy, really a gorgeous bag. If you have never used one of these bags, if you connect well to like what they look like, these peak design bags, you should, you should give yourself that gift at some point, you know? Because they really are incredibly designed. Great water bottle pockets. Great water bottle pockets. Both sides, links below. I mean, the latch one or the zipper, I know a lot of you have experience with Peak Design bags. What's your, what's your take? Let me know in the comments below. Got a couple rubbers for you. Wandered, Perverky. Provoke pack, it is, uh, here's the deal. I personally don't love working with this bag. However, I have several friends who live and die by this bag because of its durability, its legitimate roll top expansion, its like robust back panel. I just find that the external access that I seek in a bag is not here. What you do is you basically just get used to accessing it from the back, okay? Here they have like a shelf that's removable. You've got some, like a upper chunk. You've got a solid laptop pocket and some tech organization here. You do have the option of opening this side pocket, which I've just never loved this zipper, to get into that main compartment. They also have camera cubes that you can put in here that integrate with this. At the bottom they have like a zipper for a rain fly, which is like so unnecessary. This thing is really robust and really weather resistant, but you've got that extra protection if you need it. Huge pocket on the front with nothing inside. And then this gorgeous, actually like super nice, big chunky thing for opening this up. Darkness, massive expansion, massive expansion, massive durability. Final two bits are these handles. Actually, they have magnets and they clip together. This is awesome. Carrying around like this, it oftentimes does stand up on its own. I actually love these things. And if you can see here at the top, a little quick access pocket, that actually works pretty dang good. I just find that sometimes it's a little tight. It's a very, very capable and solid bag. So if you connect to the look of this and the feel and the vibe and you need that durability, expansion, possible camera cube connection, it's a, it's a gangster bag. Another rubber dude, Black Ember. Big pocket down here, which is just like scrapey to get in and out of. Don't love it, but you could just take a shower with this, basically. Incredible back panel. Incre like these have like these little like Swiss cheese holes in it. It just feels, the straps are, are rad. Everything about it feels like, damn, like it feels really sexy. My thing on this bag is it can kind of feel a little bit Moofy, I don't know, a little bit stiff, a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit stiff. Got some organization up here, some panels, a little zipper thing. Inside of here, there's some kind of a, of like a, a segmenter. Then you have a laptop and everything here, which you can't pull out because this is, like look at how, look how tall and big this is. A surprising amount of capacity in here. So that's what this little water sealed zip is in the back, direct access just to the laptop. When you're accessing the bag just from the top here, you can just use this back thing. Reach in, get everything along that back panel. That kind of efficiency is essential for me. But seriously, incredible back panel. Like really, truly feels like, just feels wild. I don't know what even this is. This is like another little secret compartment back here. All nice peripherals, YKK, water sealed. This is, this is like, made extremely well. I did a smaller version of this in the previous video from VanQuest. It's the bigger version. You've got an actually surprising amount of capacity in here, partly because it's actually tall. It's quite tall. But this 
top taco pocket right here is one of my favorites in the game. One of my favorites. I lived out of this thing. Bluetooth headphones, everything right in here. No tech pouch for me when I use this bag. Big pocket down here. Laptop pocket in the back with these nice like gussets. Back panel is solid with some mesh. I would like for this to have just a simple regular backpack strap personally. This bag is definitely made for all sorts of technical, tactical kinds of like this entire thing is hook and loop accessory capable and they make a bunch of them that can just click in. Look at this little dimension in here on this pocket and this mesh itself is re like, I can't, it is a killer bag. And then this one is from Tom Bin. It is the OG, the Synapse. This thing is like all sorts of organization here on the front panel. One of my favorite pockets ever is this bottom pocket because it just actually is huge. It has, so, it's so surprising how much you can fit in this. One of the things that makes this bag work so well is this total, this entire front, everything here has its own dimension. Getting things in and out feels somehow way better than it should. Then you have the main compartment, which like all these water sealed YKK zips that are sealed on the inside. Just a big undies pocket here. And then darkness, like so much space. One thing to know about this is this back center pocket is a water bottle pocket. So it is, uh, it is centralized on the bag. Another thing is you see these little like oh, 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 oh rings. There's a bunch of those all over the place for attaching accessories. This does not have a laptop sleeve built in. They have accessories that you add in there that you can attach to those O-rings in the main compartment. And then the back panel is just, I bet nowadays they have their, their newer straps on this. Maybe not. I actually dig these straps a lot. Some simple mesh. It's just one of the, one of the best. Oh, shout out to Tom Ben. Okay, our final three here. This Heim Planet is so surprisingly good. Love this material. Love this big gushy mesh water bottle pocket. Only on one side. Look at this like turtle shell back panel. These straps are just, just simple and light and good. These are like the larger to medium size everyday carry bags. Dope little quick access, actually quite a lot of space in here. Little front pocket that's small, no organization. I actually, like, I love the size of this. I don't like it when these front pockets are too big. Front panel opening is into your, kind of your main gig, your main compartment. Like a decent amount of space, so you can fit a lot of daily carry goods in here. Then you've got a bigger YKK number 10 zip here and you open that up and you've got all of this tech sort of glory. Great laptop compartment, all these little bougie little duties, little bougie little duties. Sometimes I surprise myself with the words that I use. Some elastic bits right here to clip stuff into. Then a panel that zips, you can get into that main compartment. So that means I could actually hide this whole thing, zip it down and just kind of like push it to the bottom of the bag so I don't have any difference between my front sort of bigger compartment and my back tech compartment. It is bigger, it is softer, like it's a little more moofy, but how it works on the regular is bueno. The old standby from Green Room 136. This thing is dope. This is a surprisingly large multiple compartments here, just like that Heim Planet where you have this laptop pocket, you have this main compartment, and then this front pocket, this like dimension in here ends up feeling super good because you can put stuff in here and it's not all tight if the rest of the bag gets packed out. Super burly straps end up feeling great, but aesthetically they might be like too much of a statement for many of us. Simple mesh back panel, little hidden pocket back here. Compression straps that go all the way around, which can feel a little strappy, but to kind of give you a sense of this middle main compartment, you can actually carry so much. I was confused or I didn't know if I should do this in the medium section or the large section. The reason why I put it in the medium bags is because a lot of large bags carry just as large. 
This actually carries as medium if you want it to. However, you can stuff it with so much stuff that it could fit in the large. It could. And then back panel, just big, nice protected laptop pulled off the bottom of the bag and a few simple admin stuff. Solid like uh, basic, like kind of Cordura standard feeling. Not 1680D ballistic nylon like the airbags which have a, like a little more of a chunky weave to them and I actually prefer this I think. I, lo I love this thing, I've used this so much. And then finally, this is our last one here guys. I just did a massive review on this one so I will just leave it at saying that and I'll link to that below. This is the Boundary Supply uh, Errant Pro. Tons of space. I go into super detail on this thing in that video and there's a lot to know about it. So if you're interested in this one, go check out that video. That is it. Thanks for watching. Are you still here? Are you literally, are you literally still here? If you are, you gotta say like um, burrito in the comments. Just to let me know you're still here. Shout out to Tahoe Trail Bar. These are delicious. Goodness gracious. Thanks for supporting the channel and thanks to you for watching. I hope that you're, you're, I hope you're like your carry everyday thing just gets locked in. And some of you need a new bag. Some of you just need to stick with what you got, you know? And, uh, and it's always fascinating and, and dreamy to, to think about getting another thing, a new thing, novelty. We're designed by novelty, right? It's an important mechanism by which we have evolved. So it makes a lot of sense. You're like, I need a new thing. What is a new thing? Oh, if I get a new backpack, then everything's gonna fit in my life, you know? Quite literally, that can be true. And in other situations, it's like, no, nah, man, stop it. Just use what you've got because the world needs people who have come alive. And if you need something new again and again and again and again to come alive, that's like a, it's kind of a cheaper form of what we really want from you. That's my take. That's my take. You can find more daily carry bags at matterful.co. Check that out. While you're there, get on the email list because that is where we handle giveaways. And the last time we did a giveaway was at 100,000 subscribers and we uh, gave away like tens of thousands of dollars worth of bags and pouches and all sorts of stuff. So get on the email list there. I promise not to spam you. It's just me. I'm liter it's literally just me doing all of this. I have no staff. I should probably get some staff. Bye!